Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Kaylos, and today we are going to be jumping into the brand new Warzone Mobile. Now, Warzone Mobile just came out last Wednesday or Thursday for iOS and Android worldwide. So if you weren't a part of those initial countries that <coughs> they were able to like cold test, beta test, alpha test the game, now you can test it out pretty much anywhere you want. Now, as we've seen before, Warzone Mobile is going to feature cross progression with Modern Warfare 3, which means when you level up in Warzone Mobile, you also level up in Modern Warfare 3. If a gun comes out and you use it in Warzone Mobile, again, you can use it in Modern Warfare 3, or vice versa. And the things you unlock as far as operators, weapons, camos, anything that you can think of, it's going to be in Warzone Mobile and Modern Warfare 3. Now, Warzone Mobile does not just feature Warzone, it also features Resurgence, it also features a mosh pit of multiplayer games. So I'm going to jump in today and play a couple of games and just see how I feel, see how it looks, show you guys how it looks, show you guys how it feels, and show you the events that are currently going on so you can jump in and make sure you get all of your items and just give my general opinions on it. Now, it's been pretty widely discussed and discovered that Warzone Mobile worked great on iOS. It runs pretty terribly on the Android. Luckily for me, I have an iPad and an iPhone, so I can, you know, run out peak graphics. Uh, we'll see how that works. My iPad is an older generation iPad Air, an M1 edition, so it should still be good. But again, we'll see that later. And yeah, let's uh, let's jump into it. Now, I'm not a mobile gamer by any means. I don't have any mobile games on my phone or or anything like that. So this will be the first game that I really dive into. I probably won't be actually playing it too much. We'll find out later. I'm just, I'm not a mobile gamer guy. I like to have a dedicated system for my gaming. Now, if you have trouble logging in, um, it's probably because Call of Duty is up and active somewhere on a different device. So if you have a PS5 or an Xbox or, or a computer, make sure you turn off Modern Warfare 3, make sure you close the application. Or if you're on your phone, make sure you close that application. Now, just come down, there's an event going on called Day Zero. With Day Zero, you need to log in every day and you get like some type of charm or collectible or whatnot. Um, let's see here. Also in day zero, there are two aspects of it. There's a community aspect and the individual aspect. Community aspect just involves the entire community is playing work on mobile. You have to go to these different spots and complete contrast, get kills, whatever. And that'll advance your zones. Uh, once you advance the zone, you can go in and claim those items. I've already cleaned the things so far, it's like this emblem I've claimed and this uh, calling card I've claimed. Now individually, you can also do this and earn other different rewards. But one of the biggest ones being a new operator skin for Ghost and uh, a blueprint for the M4 and a blueprint for the X12. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not super gassed about this, you know, word on mobile. All the guns and blueprints I think that you actually get inside the game seem to be old Modern Warfare 2 guns, which I pretty much vow not to use unless I need to do something specific in zombies. Uh, but uh, again, we have here, we have the main screen, you know, up at the top left, you have your, your challenge medals, which gives you little corners that you can use in game to get some cosmetic items. You've got an event on the right, you've got game modes on the right above the play button, you've got store, event, and gear up. Gear up is where you're going to go change your operator, change your emblem, change your guns, your blueprints, even though you have them saved, do not carry over. So you're going to have to select the gun and build it out again. And then store is just the store. And so what I'm going to do first, I don't want to play a full game of, you know, Battle Royale. So I want to go do Rebirth, especially with the news that Rebirth is coming back in season three, pretty much the beginning of season three. Uh, we will be playing Rebirth again on Modern Warfare 3, but I'm going to go ahead and, and try it out here on Warzone Mobile. I haven't really set up any type of loadout. Um, I'm just going to need a default loadout because it's, it's a lot to make sure my guns are set up the way that I like them to be set up. And also, your HUD points do not come over, do not carry over. Carry over. And that's probably because of, you know, the, the mobile store system. You know, the Apple or Google has to get their money a certain, certain way. So that's why the uh, COD points don't carry over. That's my thought process, rather. I will say also, your friends list does carry over. I don't have any friends on right now that I would, uh, that I'm not getting on the playlist, but you can do that with your friends list as well. Now, I'm not exactly sure 
the same rebirth that we're going to be getting in Modern Warfare 3. They just released the uh, tag image of it so you can know where all your POIs are. But uh, again, I haven't played this yet on Wars on Mobile, so we're about, we're about to find out right now. Alright, boys. Okay. Most everybody has, uh, well, that's the word on everybody has last stand, but you will see in multiplayer that most everybody has last stand. I don't know what that little tactical, tactical boost I just picked up is. And there's what they get, so tank. It's really hard to look at my attack map and on this like small screen. So I don't really know when I have money or where our buy stations are or anything like that. I know that's for 20 grand. Well, I have that. It's really hard to hear like I can hear Modern Warfare 3 because I don't have like gaming headsets for these. I'm just using my AirPods right now. You can see. And I'm assuming you can't swim in this. Uh, well, that's wild, but tough loss. Well, first game on Rebirth since, uh, I don't know, two years ago, whenever it stopped happening. That they all know, Warzone is not my game, but cool. You do have to do two training matches before you're able to play, you know, just vividly. Um, so, be aware of that if you do end up downloading this. I'm going to do a moss pit, but as you can see, they have shoot to ship. Then we moss pit here. This is going to be like a very quick video. This is just showing off what Wordle is. Showing off how it is on the iPads. 
you know, it looked different on every planet farm. Again, Android looks terrible. And so I've heard, I don't have an Android device to confirm. iPhone wasn't bad. And I bet it's not bad either. iOS devices are the only ones that have this peak quality. Let's try a striker. Wow. Enemy down. This is one of my favorite classes in uh, the full game, and it looks like I'd be one of my favorite classes in mobile. Oh wait, it just goes to 180. Okay. Mission compromised. We've been defeated. Cool. That's good to know. 20 and 11. So I did, you know, well enough to be near 2.0 KD. Again, it was shipment. So I'll put that. But that's how, uh, that's how warm down mobile is. Like I said, there's going to be a quick video. I don't plan on, you know, playing this game too much. I will be jumping in every day just to get through the event, just to get that uh, daily login bonus. There's none of this stuff I really care about, so. Thank you guys for tuning in, checking out. Like I said, Call of Duty has just announced that Rebirth Island is coming back April 3rd. So as soon as uh, Season 3 starts, uh, Rebirth Island should be available on console, and then we can really dive in, jump in, and, and play some games and see how it is. Other than that, that's it.